This is a track that I put, I made, and then we literally did not use anything from it. I made a whole track, and then we only kept this. Get, 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 get. And then this is what we ended up with. <laughs> wow, that's different. So, yeah, Barkley, you know, you made this like full track. This with it was called Egyptian strings because you put these like synth strings in it. So this is the original. Barkley was like, yo, I made this track, it's fully done. <laughs> and I asked for the stems and started messing around. And after a while, the only thing that I could figure out what to do with was this vocal. And I put Ableton's stock 808 with uh, with Lego Welt's tape plugin and turned it to this. And all of a sudden I thought like, oh, maybe it could be an electro song. And so I put this chord in. <laughs> and I thought like, oh, Barkley might be into this because, you know, it's kind of like the Detroit, you know, kind of right. chord stuff. I did like it better. I sent it to Barkley. And then I did some kind of like top line. You added that or funky. So Barkley, you heard that and it reminded you of Nucleus. Right. The old funk band. Exactly. <laughs> One of my favorites. So there's like the old like Juno wind uh, patch going on in the background. And then there's like a little synth vibey solo. This is oh, yeah, this the bass line. Is, yeah, this is like the, I feel like this is what you ultimately found like the spirit of the song. <laughs> um, it was like the, la like kind of the last thing that came together for yeah. it was this like bass line. Top. It's like kind of like ghost, but it's very much like a nucleus kind of like solo line. Totally. Um, I think they just had like a Juno and an 808 and they just sang over the top of everything. Right. <laughs> um, one funny thing about this song was I, um, I kept on trying to add more stuff <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and it kept on making it worse and worse yeah. and Barkley was just like, dude, you gotta just chill. You gotta, you gotta stop. <laughs> um, I was really curious about trying to find this intersection between some electro stuff and some jungle inspiration, right. which normally do not go together because the no. drums are so different. Well, that we almost, we didn't get in an argument, but I was like, dude, the jungle stuff, it's an electro track. It's telling you it's an electro <laughs> track. Everything about it is electro track, and you're trying to stick the jungle loops in it, dude. And uh, and and it was funny because like we had this long talk on the phone where you told me about some of your favorite jungle artists. Yeah. Um. And you know something about the pads just made me think like it was possible. And for this breakdown in the middle, I snuck in the breaks. I snuck in the jungle. <laughs> sense because a lot of the things that I told him to listen to were like Moving Shadow, LTJ Bookham, stuff that had like ethereal pads and then jungle bass lines 
not necessarily like evil hard jungle. And so that was that was kind of that became the uh, the concept was like I'll sneak in the jungle stuff when the Electra stuff doesn't happen. And so I got like <laughs> I got that breakdown and then a couple other little fills where it just pokes out even just briefly. <laughs> So it's like two measures, you know, it's like, here, I'll solo the drums and you can hear it better. I never gave up. I, I never gave up. So uh, is this all the drums? So that's the new drums. Hold on, they're split up into two groups. Boom and boom. So you can hear like, let's back it up a little bit more. So electro with the 808s. And then they stop. And then back to electro. So it's like, and when I, I, I definitely sent, this is like version 13, there, I was trying to do that like like as many times as possible and Barkley had to be like, no. <laughs> and and, uh, and it's, it was really cool because I, I, I do feel like in general, less is more. And it was just, I, I you know, I felt like <laughs> Barkley was just like pushing me to, to you know, ultimately bring out the, the most magic from the song. Yes. And, and that's, I feel that's like the, that's one of the coolest parts about collaborating is when, uh, you know, yeah. you bring the best out of each other, which I definitely felt. It was cool. So. This one ended up being really good. Yes. <laughs> and you got to try to cut it. And I was like, don't <laughs> give up. Don't give up. And this uh, is the song that's like the, I just have a joke that every, all the B sides are like the sneaky songs that end up being the most popular after like a year. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like that kind of song. Yeah it'll end up being the one that people like the best. I think it's my dad's favorite. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks, dad. <laughs> it's up, dad. It's up, dad. <laughs>